Hi everyone, it's Bren here and welcome back to this week's garden update. Before we get into having a look around, I do have some exciting news to share with you. So if you enjoy these videos and would like to see more of my garden, I now have a new TV show airing on Channel 31 Melbourne. You can actually tune in this Sunday at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time to view episode three. And if you don't live in that area, you can also go to their website. I'll put the details below and you'll be able to watch it there as well. Anyway, I'm happy I was able to share that with you, but let's get back into having a look around. It's early Friday morning and yesterday it rained for the entire day. Let's take a look around. I spotted the first New Guinea bean gourd over here. I've never actually tried these before, so I'm not sure why they're called a bean because they're not, they're actually a gourd and they can reach um, almost a meter long. And I'm excited to give them a try because they're meant to be a cross between a cucumber and a zucchini. So we'll just wait and see. Actually, they're kind of furry on the outside, which is interesting. Down here I have this um, Mexican sunflower and I have one that self seeded out the front. But I had mentioned that um, I hadn't seen any more around the garden and I was completely mistaken because even in this area there's two of them. Here's one here and I spotted this one this week growing over here beside the um, basil and one of my amaranths love lies bleeding. So hopefully now if we get a nice warm autumn time I'll have lots of those beautiful flowers to enjoy. A few cosmos flowers are opening here and there. These to me represent autumn time because that's when they seem to love the weather here and burst into full bloom. This week I took back out this upcycle project do you remember I had it here in springtime where I had some um, wallflowers growing in it? I've now put in some little seedlings of marigolds and I'm hoping that these will grow quickly and fill out this space. The idea behind this is the marigolds will have these flowers all here on the bottom and it's meant to be well, it is actually a fire pit, but I've upcycled it to a fire pit feature. So the marigold flowers will look like the flames boiling the water in the pot. This is the birdhouse gourd growing up over the orange tree. And it looks like I have a couple here developing. I'm still waiting patiently for the dahlias to open up. The zinnias in the white pot have pretty much finished up now. Um, I did think that they would last right through to the first frost, but they haven't. So I'm going to put some seeds in there, maybe some pansies, calendula, and more of the hardy annuals that will get me through the winter. This is called Sedum Autumn Joy, which <laughs> As the name suggests, it flowers in autumn time and it's my hope now that um, I can do lots of cuttings of this plant because I'd love to have a mass display of these autumn flowers. Yesterday while it was raining I came out here and I fertilised the garden. It's a really good time to do this when it rains because I find that it helps the um, organic fertilizer pellets absorb quicker into the ground and the plants can soak up all of its um you know the nutrients let's have a look here in the raised garden bed area so much food to harvest in here like these banana capsicums there's quite a few there on this plant lots more of these mad hatter capsicums tomatoes everywhere like I can't even get through on the pathway anymore let's just hope I will never find a snake in here because that would be pretty scary there's some real whopper tomatoes this one is massive 
Look who I just spotted on this tomato plant, the cheeky little thing. Down here I have some pickling cucumbers. I have actually put a quick pickle jalapeno recipe up on my TikTok account if you want to go and check that out. The first cinia flower has opened up. Remember those seeds I put in here in the upcycle fire pit? On this archway I spotted some beans. I actually sowed these seeds in a pot and they've done really well. Also on this archway I have some self-seeded tomatoes. There's quite a few down here to harvest. These are the ones that pop up every year. My friend gave me the seeds. They're like little currant type tomatoes. Over here I have some little seedlings and um, they're borage. I find they're really hard to transfer so I'll just leave them there and let them flower in that space. I'm out the front now at the overgrown pumpkin patch and I have some exciting things to show you in here. Here's a Queensland blue pumpkin. I didn't even notice it in here before. I think it was hidden underneath all of the foliage plus the fact that I didn't really want to be poking around in here with the potential of there being some snakes. Despite thinking that I lost the pimply squash plant to powdery mildew, it looks like I haven't because there's this one here and you can see some of the warts starting to form on the outside of it. Across from the main vining crops, I have the Delice de la Table in there somewhere amongst the weeds and this one here, which is the Kajari melon. Let's take a closer look. There's a couple in here, so I'm hoping now that we get a nice warm autumn time and these are able to ripen up and we'll get to try them. Over here, there's this canna lily. I was given this plant two years ago as a gift and I was excited about it because of its beautiful looking foliage. It's taken a long time, but it's finally flowering. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I didn't actually get to make a start on my big sewing session of vegetables and flowers for this autumn winter time, but hopefully I'll have that done and I'll be able to show you next week. And yeah, that's about it. So I guess I will see you all next Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful week.